Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today we're going to look at Vegas Pro 19's new scene detection tool. And to do this, I thought it would be fun if I grabbed a uh, old project I did during my college years, not for college, but around that time, where a bunch of really good friends came together and we made an awesome little action flick just because I was like, hey, I want to practice making an action scene. And they're all like, we're down. We're going to see if the scene detection can actually find this finished video. Uh, and it can cut all the scenes from it. Uh, especially, this is also interesting because this is a you know not a professional production, so it's it's got. I have some explaining to do too. So real quick, just because you're going to see little pieces of this thing, I want you to know that uh, all it is is an action sequence that I cooked up where this guy picks a booger, everyone's grossed out, and then they run away because it he goes insane. He starts like bleeding out of his brain, and there's a big fight sequence, and then uh, uh, turns somebody into a zombie, and then that's it. That's the whole thing. So does it make sense? No. Now you know. Here we go. So scene detection. You can find this by going from your project media to your video effects tab and then scrolling down until you see scene detection or typing it up here and then you can click and drag the scene detection and put it on your clip. Now this is a clip based uh, effect and if you have this cut into two pieces it will only do the part of the clip that has been cut. So uh, first off you see here there's sensitivities, uh, fade sensitivity, dissolve sensitivity. You might want to adjust these depending on your flick. So you might have to do this a couple of times, but uh, it, in the end it will save a ton of time because uh, it just takes a second. So we'll mess with these in just a second, but first let's hit analyze. So um, if analyze doesn't take too long on my computer, but if it takes a long time on yours, like I was saying, you can actually cut it into pieces. So like, let's say you're trying to count the cuts in uh, movies by different directors to see how many cuts different directors have in different movies um, and make it a little documentary about that. That would be cool, right? But it might take a long time to do like an hour and a half flick over and over again, so you could cut the flick into its different acts. All right, so let's see how it did. This is uh, the scene detection. Every one of these keyframes is a place where it thinks there's a cut, but it wants you to check it first. It thinks there's one dissolve, and it thinks there's a whole bunch of hard cuts, which there are. So uh, right now I have this little button pressed called Sync Cursor to Media Target. And what I can do is now when I move this cursor, it'll actually move the media timeline itself. Sorry if you're vomit sensitive. That's not really vomit if it helps you. It's just like pea soup or something we, I brought that he just drank and spit in the metal bowl. So um, if we scroll over and boom, there is a cut there. Sorry, that codecking is from... Uh, this just being like a really like a rip of a rip because I didn't do a good job archiving back then um, so boom it catches that cut and then it catches the other cut and then it catches that cut it that right there yeah yeah it catches that cut okay then yep it catches that it catches that. You know you have a good friend when he just says, okay, I'll pick my nose for you on camera. Yep, that's got a cut, 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 cut. Good deal, it's working great. Let's look into this. So is that a dissolve? Actually, it is not. Um, there are two hard cuts really close together. The camera comes to his face. So it's actually, the cuts are so close together, it thinks it's a dissolve. I'm going to say that it's not a dissolve. I'm going to delete the dissolve right there, and that's okay. Um, let's see. So it missed one, and that's because, so we have the sensitivity down. I could pop it up and do it again, but I think for this one we can just fix it. And it cuts right there. That's where it thinks it's a dissolve, mostly because there's just motion blur all over the screen. So let's just add a keyframe right here, and um, but if we have hard cut selected when we added the keyframe, it would have added a dot in the hard cuts. I had dissolve selected, see, uh, and it added a dissolve. So now I can delete the dissolve again. So now we have that correction fixed. So there we go. That's how you make corrections. To quickly check, yeah, it looks like it's cutting correctly. So here's an interesting tidbit too. Uh, this is actually an in-camera uh, effect that we did where uh, he turns his head, then we flip the camera around super fast to make it look like it's one shot, but it's actually twice. He, I flipped the camera around, and then in the middle of that, I flipped the camera around again. And it actually doesn't detect that as a cut, 
which is or a fade or anything, which is awesome because it, it was a cut, but it's supposed to be disguised. So I successfully disguised it from an algorithm. Um, anyway, but it looks like it's right on target, and even here it catches the 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 fades. Yeah, it gets to dissolves at the end, which are totally happening. Okay, when you're ready, you can select the clip again and then hit split. And what that'll do is it'll tell you that yes, I'm ready to split that clip, and then it splits it into all the cuts that it had marked and you had double checked. And now this is looking more so like my original timeline, a little less layers. If you like this video helped you out, sorry if it grossed you out. So subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one. We're covering all the Vegas Pro 19 topics and a lot more after that. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.